I'm Rita Cook with Politics and How It Affects You, and I'm sitting here today with my new friend, Julissa Martinez. Ooh, Did I yes, say that right? thank you, Rita, for pronouncing it correctly, yes. <laughs> Julissa is running for district attorney. Well, actually, I'm not getting that right when I say DA, because there's a lot more involved in that. What are you running for in March? On the ballot, it'll say Ellis County Attorney, yes. Okay, all right. But everyone knows it as the district attorney's as office. A DA. Okay, and tell me a little bit. So I just want to say a few things here about you. You're a U.S. Army veteran's widow, supporting veterans in a veteran's treatment court and that's really good because I know that there's so many things going on with that nowadays that's something very big on my heart something good. I'd like to get done okay um, and it's certainly something that's gonna get done once I take office okay and you've worked in the DA's office before yes so. I worked in this very office okay, for the about Ellis five County years. DA's office okay so tell me a little bit about what you want to do if you're elected what you are hoping to bring to that position that's what I'd like to bring some some reasonable some common sense leadership to this office okay I'd like to bring some smart prosecutors of these cases you know we're wasting so much time energy and resources and on these low-level drug cases possession okay. cases right you know um, and we just need to be smarter mm -hmm. you know it's cheaper to rehabilitate than incarcerate exactly. uh, we'd like these people to keep their jobs and 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 be there for their families you know that, that's what we'd like to do I'd like to uh, be smarter with the use of your taxpayer dollars okay there's so much money involved in this office yeah and what the actions that this office takes impacts everyone's life wow. it impacts your life there at the city let's say you're at the Red Oak it impacts your life in the city of Red Oak because these officers need their le need to leave their jurisdiction to go take this paper file and go file it at the DA's office at the county seat on the fourth floor of that office. Um, after it, after that process takes place, you know there needs to be Xeroxine. Then the attorneys need to go pick up this discovery. In the meantime, this particular defendant is sitting in jail that you're paying $85 a day to house him in jail. $85 a day, and there's about 475 inmates at a given time. Just okay. imagine and do the math. That's a lot of money for all the for Ellis County <laughs> residents, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> so. is. And so we were talking earlier, and it was something that you were pretty passionate about, about how hard it has been for, um, like, so you have been a defense attorney in a number of cases in Ellis County, and how, like, I didn't realize, but until six years ago, you couldn't even get an incident report. It sounds like me as a reporter and the trouble I have. Right. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, we didn't get discovery until Governor Perry signed it into legislation, legislation mandating that the accused, the defendant, gets the right to the offense reports and the videos. Imagine, it wasn't until six That's years amazing. ago. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. You know, if, if your husband is charged with, with hurting someone, if your son is, is charged with a crime or an assault, you never got a copy of that offense report until six years ago. And, and this office needs to be the leader, mm -hmm. and it yeah. lead, needs to lead from the front and not from behind. Right, right, exactly. That's very good. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. So where are you from? You're not from around here. No, no. <laughs> I am from the Rio Grande Valley. I'm from Harlingen, Texas. I apologize for my <laughs> my bronchitis recuperation right now, but I am from Harlingen, Texas. Okay. And how long have you been up in this area? What, what brought you up here so people know well, about that? Well, that's a good question. You know, um, I went to the University of Houston Law School, okay. and then my husband's job transferred him to Irving. Okay. We moved to the Metroplex. We were looking for a place to, to start and plant roots and raise our families, and that we decided to plant our tree in Ellis County, Texas, and we've been here <laughs> for about 18, 19 years. We've got three children later. We are blessed. We are members of St. Joseph's Catholic Church. We've been there. We've been First Communion there with our kids. We're just ingrained in this community <laughs> yeah, now you know everything and you want to see it improve absolutely so absolutely great. i want to be i almost want to put it in bubble wrap <laughs> and protect it from what's coming from the north because don't yeah, dallas yeah. county my ellis county <laughs> uh so i want to uh certainly make it the strongest and best county it can be great okay and let's see how can people find you see now this is her little and your hair looks different today i did mention that but who lisa is very much here <laughs> So let's see, how, what is your, is it LadyJustice4DA.com? Wow, that is correct. that's a good one. <laughs> yes, you know, my, uh, my email address is uh, jm at martinezjusticeforall.com. And so when I decided to run for DA, uh, we came to that, LadyJustice4DA.com. I love that. All right, so one little tidbit, Luisa and I have decided that we're going to do a show 
for ECP TV, and we don't know what yet. You heard it here first, That's ladies right, and gentlemen. Right. You know, this is a sneak peek. We are going to bring you all kinds of topics. And if you've got a topic you want us to share and talk about, please send us a note, drop, drop us a line, and we will be more than happy to That's explore right. these issues with you. Uh, send us an email, call us. We're going to have some live lines going on pretty soon. Uh, look forward to it. We're going to lead and we're going to take charge. We're going to be trailblazers here. Here in Ellis County. That's right. I'm Rita Cook with Politics and How to Fix You. Thank you, Hulisa. Thank you so much, Rita. See you all next time. Alrighty.